This time let's look at cumulative frequency diagrams and cumulative frequencies. On the moment, at the moment on the screen you can see an ordinary frequency diagram. The height of each column represents the frequency in the frequency diagram. These represent the intervals 0 to 1, 1 to 2, etc. and these represent their frequencies. Notice that the biggest frequency is 125 and that represents the tallest column or the tallest rectangle in the diagram. This interval 4 to 5 would be called the mode or the modal interval or the modal class because it's the biggest one with most of the data in it. Now what's cumulative frequency? Let's have a look at another addition to this picture. Cumulative frequency is adding as we go along. Less than 1, well between 0 and 1 we've got 10, so less than 1 it's the same. But less than 2 includes both of these figures. It includes the 10 and the 15, so less than 2 we have 25 data items and that's the cumulative frequency as adding as we go along. The next one has another 25 added to it making it 50. The next one another 75 making it 125. So this figure is the sum of all those four figures. This figure the sum of the five figures. This figure these six added together etc etc. Now when you get to the bottom the total number the total frequency of the whole diagram is 360 and so that's going to be the last value in the cumulative frequency table because adding everything together gives you 360. Now let's plot those points on the graph and I hope you can see that the graph goes up to 360 to the total of all the frequencies. But whereabouts do we plot the points? Well we've got this point, point here and when x is 1, we plot 10. So the point 1, 10 on our diagram is a point. It's this point here, 1 on the horizontal axis and 10 on the vertical axis, plot, plotted just there. We actually start at 0 because from here we can see that between 0 and 1 we have 10, but there's nothing which is less than 0. So we can start it at 0, go to uh, 1 at 10, and then for the 2 point we plot 25. The three point we plot 50, the four point we plot 125, etc., etc. Carry on until we get to the 360 plotted at the eight point. Notice that the plotting is always at the right hand number in this column, so we always plot at the top end of the frequency interval 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, with the addition of plotting the naught point when we know that there's no data at all and we know there's nothing less than zero so we can put a, a point at zero zero. We then connect uh, all the points together into a graph. This can be done uh, by hand as a sort of continuous graph providing it does go through all the points but on this diagram the computer has drawn the, the, the curve as a series of straight lines. Either is acceptable. So, recapping briefly, briefly, that is an ordinary uh, frequency distribution and these are the cumulative frequencies for the same distribution adding the frequencies as we go along. We plot these points at the right hand end of the interval adding naught naught in this case because we know that there's nothing less than naught. And so this gives us points which we can join together with lines to make a cumulative frequency diagram. Now cumulative frequency diagrams and cumulative frequencies are very useful uh, for several reasons and we'll see that in later videos.